Hey guys, so if you watch my period vlog, you'll see that I just recently went to the pool. So I thought it would be a good idea to show you guys what's in my um, period kit for the pool. Um, so yeah, and I guess you can use this for the beach too, but I, I just like to say this is for the pool. So let's get started. First off, I keep it in this small bag that's about my hand because you don't want to carry something like super huge around but it just kind of looks like a makeup bag and it could be like you could take it to the bathroom and people will think that oh it has like hair stuff in it you're fixing your hair or you're just putting on some makeup before you leave the pool I don't know whatever you get the idea so first I have two pads and you might be thinking why would I take pads to the pool so I would take two pads just in case if you live really far from the pool or beach. Um, you can wear one on the ride there or wear one on the ride back if you like pads because I'm more of a pad person but of course I will always wear a tampon for physical activity or swimming. So yeah, if you're like me and you like pads then you can wear one going and wear one coming back. Next, I have tampons, which is the most important part of this whole kit, um, according to everybody. I was going to say, um, up, like, to me, but to everyone. So I would suggest bringing um, some compact tampons, just because it's so much easier to take with you into the bathroom. So here I have my UVA Cotex Click Regular, I have an OB one with an applicator, and I have this, um, I believe this is Tampax, I'm not quite sure, um, but they're regular. And if you have one of these in super, I would also bring um, two regular and a super because, well, all, as for super, all I have is um, a sleek, which is big, but it doesn't really matter because you're going to be taking the bag with you to the pool, so it doesn't really matter. And, um, yeah. So I would suggest bringing two tampons that are regular and one that is super, and I'm sorry about my nails. Um, I would suggest that because what if you have a regular on and you you know, like you need a change and you're seeing that your flow is a little bit heavier than you thought, so it's good to have a super just in case. So yeah, of course I suggest bringing um, wipes because it's really important that you um, wipe after you change your tampon or when you're taking it out and of course you want to keep your bathing suit clean so yeah so if you are that type of person that aren't gonna like you decide that you're not gonna swim you're just gonna sit there and tan or whatever just sit there and look cute or talk to your friends or just put your feet in <laughs> whatever it is um, then you would probably want to wear a liner under your bathing suit because accord, like I keep wanting to say according to me but we're not going to say that so you know to me it's really important to protect my bathing suit because it would be really embarrassing if you have like a blood stain on your swimsuit or something like that so I would suggest bringing a carefree liner now I know a lot of people would suggest bringing a barely there but I actually wouldn't so a barely there is kind of wide and depending on the type of bathing suit you have it is possible that you could possibly like see it if you sit down and open your legs or something like that not that you would be doing that but I'm just saying just to be extra safe I would suggest this carefree liner and I love this liner for things like that because look it's like completely straight like this and it's really quite thin it's literally like three of my fingers less than that see that it's less so I feel that there's no way that anybody would see the see this on your like bikini bottom or whatever you wear so I would suggest bringing this liner and yeah so that's the liner and of course the most important thing well second most important besides tampons are these period cramp pills and I just have this 
help. I have an aching body. These are ibuprofen, but you can bring Midal, um, Aleve, Motrin, whatever you take for your period cramps. So, because you wouldn't want to get cramps when you're trying to have a good time now, do you? So, yeah, this is everything that I would suggest bringing to the pool or beach, but mostly pool. If you want to see me do a beach one, then I can totally do it because I have some struggles on the beach and I will discuss those struggles if I make that video. So just leave a comment down below and tell me if you want to see that video. So this is everything I suggest for the pool. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching my video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!